hey what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel uh, it is a great day here in Arkansas nice weather uh, apologize for the background noise I got a neighbor across the street who's cutting his grass it's it's about that time springtime grass is starting to turn green starting to grow which means people got to get out and cut the grass I got to do the same but here recently we've had a lot of uh, power companies gas companies and all those guys are constantly coming out here spray painting the grass and sticking flags everywhere so they know where all the the power lines and water mains and all that stuff is so I'm going to have to be real easy when I do mine. But uh, as you can see, I'm not out in the shop. Uh, not on a range yet. But I'm not out in the, in the shop. I'm out here in the boat. Which means we're getting ready to get back into fishing. That's right, guys. And coming up pretty soon, uh, in a couple of weeks, the uh, fishing derby that I usually do for uh, law enforcement, first responders, and all of them, we're about to kick that off, uh, not this weekend, but next weekend. So I'll be out there fishing fishing those. And I was kind of thinking, you know, what should I do to get back into the fishing uh, filming? So I'm going to kick it off with something that I started. And I'm, I don't even remember if I made it through all the way. But I'm just going to kind of bring it back and do something that I had a lot of fun doing. I got a lot of comments from people who were talking about my different setups, and I appreciate those comments. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, like, like the channel, subscribe to the channel, and drop comments, especially if you're into fishing. Let me know what you think about this setup here that I'm about to talk about. So, and I guess I just kind of gave it away. We're getting back into the My Setup series where I talk about my different uh, fishing setups that I have for when I'm out bass fishing. So I'm going to go ahead and kick it off with my favorite one. Uh, this, was, this was actually the third setup that I actually bought. But this is, oh my goodness, I'm about to fall over. The six gill creature rod like I said this was one of the this was actually the third rod that I bought from them uh, it was one of their cheaper rods when I got it uh, it's still one of their cheaper lines but it's still a good rod to use uh, this one is their 7.3 medium heavy uh, I've got this one set up for my swim bait uh, my hook setups right now I've got a Strike King Rage Swimmer with a Wu Tungsten belly weighted uh, swim bait hook. Um, normally I go back and forth between these and the uh, uh, Eagle Claw Trocar swim bait hook. Same style belly weighted or sometimes non belly weighted. Uh, I think the reason I started settling on the Wu Tungstens is because they paint theirs and then they've got the, the weight on the on the hook so you never forget what size weight you were throwing so then that way you know if okay I need a bigger weight to get down deeper or my baits going down too fast I need to scale back on the weight you always know what size you were throwing uh, I think I have this spooled up with I used to spool this up with 12 pound uh, Berkeley uh, trialing uh, their fluorocarbon I think I went up to either 14 or 17 pound. Um, I was out fishing one time and I had a fish break me off and I just figured that I needed to up the weight a little bit. Uh, I've got this paired up with a six gill Wraith reel. This is their 6.3 to one gear ratio. This has their uh, centrifugal braking system and the magnetic braking system. And the centrifugal uh, brake system is an internal brake that you set. And it basically will help you at the beginning of your cast to, to prevent those backlashes. And then the magnetic braking on the outside will help with the end of the cast. As you hit the water, it slows that reel down so you don't still have that spool running off and getting that backlash. Uh, I like these reels. Unfortunately, guys, they don't have these anymore. Uh, they have their Hamar reel, 
and they have their new series of reels that they started making uh, at their factory in, in Texas called the Arrival. Uh, I have not used either one of those. I think I do have a, a Hamar reel, and it's a good reel. It has their uh, propri proprietary dual magnetic braking system. So most magnetic braking systems, you have a section that has five small magnets, and when Six Gill redid their uh, their Cyclone reels, they just had one piece, one magnetic piece that would fit into that little half moon shape, that little crescent moon. Well, now they've started doing a dual magnet, same style, but now you have two of them, and it's on their Hamar and their Arrival. Like I said, I haven't used the Arrival series, uh, but I have used that Hamar a little bit. It's a really good reel. Speaking of that, guys, I've been telling y'all that I was going to do another six gill reel giveaway and I was going to do a cyclone. Well, I've been looking at their website. They don't have the cyclone on there no more. So what I'm going to do now, it's still going to be a reel. It's just now you get the Hamar with their dual magnetic braking system. I will still also add the um, uh, ceramic ball bearings to that. So that way you'll have a much smoother cast and a much smoother retrieval. Uh, I went with this setup for one, uh, this 7.3, because I figured, uh, especially the way I like to fish these um, belly weighted swim baits, I like to throw mine weedless. Of course, you can see how it's rigged here where uh, these Strike King setups, they have a little cut right there in the top for you to hide your hook so it makes it really weedless. And I throw this in the grass. And I, I figured I would need that extra uh, three inches of length and a little bit more backbone when I'm trying to get those fish out of the cover. So far, this reel, this rod and reel combo has not let me down. I've caught several fish on this setup right here. I mean, one of the first fish that I caught, um, I'll actually drop a picture. Uh, the picture's gonna cover up my face, but you guys will see I went down to uh, what we call Twin Rivers. It's a split off from the Arkansas River and I was throwing this rod. I had a different reel at the time, but it was a six gill reel. And I was on the bank and just throwing it along a, a log that was in the water. And I kept feeling a bump. I thought that I was actually hitting something, but I kept throwing back in that same spot, reeling it back in there through that same spot, paying close attention. And when I felt that bump again, and I swung on him and set the hook, man, fight was on. Um, I didn't weigh the fish, I didn't even think about it. I had, me and my brother was gonna go out in the boat, but batteries were dead. I didn't even think I had a scale in the boat. I could have weighed it and measured it. But it was a good solid two pound fish. So this is a awesome rod and reel setup. It has never, it hasn't let me down yet. This is my go-to when I pull up somewhere. I will grab this rod. Um, I go through different color swim baits. Like I, I love Strike King. Uh, these Rage Swimmers are awesome baits. Uh, you throw it out, you can work it several ways. Slow retrieve, medium retrieve, fast retrieve, or you can sometimes uh, yo-yo it. Uh, that boot tail on there does some amazing work when it's kicking. Um, it, it's just a trial and error thing where you gotta make sure you get the right size bait and the right color for what you're fishing for your conditions. But once they start biting, in fact, uh, the last tournament I was in, this same derby, um, I think it was this exact bait that I was throwing and I caught one fish in that tournament. So this tournament coming up, I will be throwing this one again. Like I said, this reel is a very, very smooth casting reel. Um, I haven't had any problems throwing this thing. Um, Casting, flipping, very little backlash unless I've got the reel set wrong and then I'll cause a backlash that way. But uh, yeah, I love this setup right here. Uh, I don't know what else I could say about this. Uh, again, vary your line depending on your cover that you're going to be fishing. And uh, 
your water clarity and stuff, that is going to play a big part in what size line you're using because the line will be a little bit more visible in some water, whereas it's a little bit more invisible in certain color water. So pay attention to that. Uh, Six Gill is an awesome company. I have been with them since I started my whole uh, fishing journey, I guess you could say, whenever I got back from the Navy and I told my wife I wanted to get serious, get back serious about my bass fishing. I even wanted to start fishing some of the tournaments here in the area and, you know, she was kind of just like, well, what all do you need to do to get that started? Well, I want, I want to get some sponsors and stuff. And I was at work and I kept seeing these ads for Six Gill popping up on my Facebook thread. And so I finally started looking into it, and I noticed that they had a military program and a sponsorship program. And at first, I had just signed up with the uh, the military program where you get a 10% discount if you're military. Hey, shout out to my military folks. Uh, if you're looking for a good rod and reel setup and some people that honors, you know, military guys, y'all should look into that. And I did that one at first. And then I decided one day, you know what, I'm gonna take a chance on their uh, their pro staff. And so I filled out the stuff and it was asking me, how would I be able to promote their stuff? And at that time I told them, well, I'll promote it on my social media accounts as well as I'm starting a YouTube channel. You know, I can't say anything else, grace of God. A blessing from God they emailed me back and said hey print out this contract sign it and then scan it and email it back to us and after I did that I was considered one of their I guess you could say one of their lower level uh, pro staff members because I don't fish any uh, professional circuits or anything so I'm one of their lower level uh, pro staff my obligation to this company is to make sure I promote their stuff. That's why I have the six gill carpet mat on the boat. I've got six gill stickers all around the boat. I've got my t-shirts, my hoodies. You see I'm wearing the six gill hat. I wear this hat out all the time. And now that we're about to get back into fishing, I will be throwing my six gill rod and reel setups. So really great company. So far I've had one reel that has broke on me in the four, three to five years that I have been back really getting into bass fishing, I've had one reel from Six Gill that has broke. I called them up, asked them about it. They said I should be still covered under my warranty, throw it in a box, send it back to us. I did that, they fixed it, got it back to me within a couple of weeks. So, great customer service, great people over there in Texas, and phenomenal equipment. Uh, I'm kind of anxious to get back buying some more rod and reels. Uh, I want to try their new stuff that they came out with that they made here in Texas. So made in the USA. I'm really anxious to get on that. But uh, I'm also sitting here upgrade, updating my graphs and stuff. But this is my go-to rod and reel. It hasn't let me down yet. But uh, that's all I got for this reel, guys, this rod and reel setup. Uh, like I said, drop comments. Let me know what you guys think about this. I'll be happy to ask, answer any questions. Um, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Also, hit the bell and uh, hit that notification. Hit the notification bell. Make sure you click on all so that way you get uh, an update anytime I put out the videos. Also, when you subscribe to the channel, if you leave a comment with your name and your, uh, your tag, that way I can put you on a little wheel that I have to enter you for the giveaway. Uh, right now, guys, I'm gonna let you pick. Uh, so I'm trying to get to 200, or I'm trying to get to 250. So leave me comments, guys. Which one do you wanna do? Do you wanna do at 200 subscribers, you get the six gill reel, or do you want the Monster Bass box? And then when we hit 250, We'll swap it and do the reverse. Drop comments, let me know. At 200, do you want six gill or monster bass? And then when we hit 250, we're gonna do the opposite of whichever one we don't do at 200. So, subscribe, hit the bell, make sure you click on the all, 
drop a comment, leave your name, so that way I can add you to the wheel for the giveaway. And then make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button uh, so we can, so you guys can help me help this channel grow so I can continue putting out this stuff because I'm having a lot of fun doing this. Um, you guys just wait till I get out on the gun range. We're going to have some fun out there. But uh, that's all I got, guys. And I got to get out of here. So I got to get this graph going. But uh, again, guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the great outdoors. Peace.